All right, we need four ingredients this week. First off, some strawberries, yum. Then you are gonna go for a Devil's Food King mix. Doesn't matter what brand you get. Um, Mom went for Duncan Hines this week, not the H-E-B version, so we got the good stuff. Um, diet, Dr. Pepper, you only need one can. I know that sounds weird already, but just one can, because all you need is 12 ounces. And then some Ready Whip, or real Dairy Whip. Mom didn't go for the real brand of this one. That's the H-E-B version, so real Dairy Whip. Yep. All right, guys, so this is the easiest recipe ever. So I've poured the cake mix over here into this red bowl, and all I have to do for this cake is pour in Diet Dr. Pepper. Again, 12 ounces, that's one can. Open it. And just pour on in. Seems crazy, I know. But trust me, they're delicious. So make sure you get the whole can in there. All we do is mix it in. Mix it in. While she's mixing, we need to make sure that we preheat our oven. So I'm gonna turn it on. 350 degrees and it should be ready in just All a few right, minutes. So mixture is nice and smooth now. So now I'm gonna take just I've used a plastic spoon to fill in these um cupcake little things. We put cupcake um what are these called? Liners. Liners, thank you. In here. And so we're just gonna fill each of them up about two thirds of the way. So this is gonna take forever. I'm gonna cut the video and You'll see them done in a second, because this is gonna take forever. I'm filling them, I'm just kidding, it didn't take 10 hours, those of you that take it seriously. I'm so serious, I'm so kidding. Um, anyway, filled in about two thirds each of them, and we're gonna stick this into the oven for about uh, like 20 minutes, and we'll see how it goes. Hey Google, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. Okay. They have come out of the oven. Best thing to do is to get a toothpick and kind of poke one um, down the middle so that you can see if it's done. If it comes out clean, it means it's done. If it comes out like dirty, that means it's still running on the inside. So you gotta put it back in the oven. So let's check. Nice and clean. Nothing like baking on a rainy day. Okay, so while the cupcakes are cooling, I'm gonna get started on the garnish, the top. Remember that fancy word we use? It just meant like an extra decoration. So I'm gonna get started on that. We're gonna use strawberries today, um, but we're gonna do it in three different ways. So I'm gonna do two strawberries. We've already washed them. Um, so I'm gonna take just two normal sized strawberries. And I'm gonna cut the ends off. And to be completely honest, I'm gonna give that to my dog because he loves strawberries. We're gonna cut the ends off of that. And then I'm just gonna cut these into little pieces. I cut that in half and then I cut it in half again. And then about that size. So I'm gonna do the two strawberries that same way. And I'll move it off to the side. Please be careful when you're doing this. Try not to use a knife by yourself. If you're not super careful, you could really cut yourself and you don't want that to happen. And then I'm gonna place all those strawberries that I just cut into one of my little bowls. And this is just a little tasting bowl, so it's really small. Once I cut them up and put them in this bowl, I'm gonna put about, not quite, a whole teaspoon of sugar, because it's not a lot of strawberries. So you just wanna put a little bit of sugar on top. I'm not even gonna use this whole spoon. Just a little bit of sugar on top to give them, um, so what we're gonna call macerate. They're gonna macerate. Basically, it means they're gonna sit in this sugar for a little bit until they come together, they make a little strawberry juice. So I'm gonna do that with these, and I'm gonna set that off to the side to let that go. And then we're gonna do another strawberry. Again, I'm just gonna take one strawberry, only this time I'm gonna leave the top on it, and I'm gonna take my knife almost to the very top, and I'm gonna start making little slits like this. You go all the way through the strawberry, all the way to the back to make sure that it's cutting all the way through. And again, this is just a garnish. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be anything. You don't even have to do it if you don't want to. I just think it makes it look cute. 
And then once it's cut, it kind of fans itself out. And then you'll place, uh oh, tore that one, oops. Um, that would sit on top of your strawberry. It looks kind of like a strawberry octopus. And if you don't want to do all that stuff to it, really and truly, just get a strawberry. And you can put the whole strawberry at the top of the cupcake when it's all finished. Um, for that, I would also leave the top on just because it makes it look kind of cute, but make sure you don't eat the green because that's gross. There you go. That's our garnish for today. Okay, so for our frosting, we're going to go an easy route for you. Um, we bought that can of whipped cream. So literally, you're just going to give it a good shake because it needs to be shook first. And then you're just going to, as much as you want, doesn't have to be a lot, or it can be, totally up to you. I'm going to put some on all three of our cupcakes here. And then we're going to take those garnishes that we made and we're gonna take that whole strawberry, we're gonna put it on one, and hope that it stays, because it looks like it wants to fall. And then we're gonna take that fanned out strawberry, and we're gonna stick that one on the other one. Yum. See, that one looks good. And then those strawberries that I cut up, if you look in there, they sat there for a little bit, so they've made this juice, the strawberry juice. So when I put that on there, again, just for decoration. Doesn't have to be fancy. Doesn't have to be a lot. You can put as little or as much as you want. I think that's enough because they're falling off. And there you go, guys. There is our Devil's Food Dr. Pepper with strawberry garnish cupcakes. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, on a side note, parents. When you're done with this dessert, make sure you keep the whipped cream away from your kids or this will happen.